Hello everyone and welcome to a quick tutorial video on how to edit ped.ifp files for San Andreas and San Andreas Multiplayer. I've been getting requests recently to either do the edits myself or explain how people can do it for themselves. And the reason for this was I used to have a guide up on the Moving Target Gaming forums but for some reason this thread has gone AWOL. I don't know where it's gone, it's just disappeared off the face of the earth. So, uh, with that no longer existing, people don't realise how simple this process is to do yourselves, so I've decided to remake that guide in video format, just to demonstrate how easy this actually is. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the description of this video, where there will be a link to download GTA Anim Manager. This will take you to this website here. You want to click uh, GTA Anim Manager, I'll ask you to save it, so you want to save to desktop. I've already got it, so I'm not going to bother doing that. The download takes no time at all, the file is ridiculously tiny. So that's all you need from here. So then we go to desktop where I've already extracted the file, and then you want to open GTA Anim Manager. If you get prompted with a security warning, just click Run. The file is complete and utterly safe. And then this is your Animation Manager interface that you'll be using to edit your IFP files. The first thing you want to need to do is make sure you have an extracted model of a PED or of CJ. You're going to want to click Preview, then you want to go to Load Model. Uh, let me just navigate to my Mods folder quickly. I'm going to be using the Clayton skin from my latest San Andreas multiplayer Let's Play. And you'll notice that I've now imported the model and it's loaded in at the wrong angle. That doesn't actually matter. All the animations still play fine. Uh, your controls for this main window here, I should point out, uh, right mouse button and drag is to rotate the camera, and left mouse button and right mouse button together, and moving your mouse up and down will zoom in and out. So from here, if you're going to be editing any weapon animations, then it's a good idea to click Preview again, and then go to Arm Weapon, and then select any weapon. I'm going to be using the GTA 5 Pump Shotgun, which you may now notice that Clayton has in his hand. So from here, you're going to want to find your uh, ped.ifp file in your San Andreas folders. So you want to click IFP and then go to open and then navigate to wherever your San Andreas is installed. I have the Steam version so it's in my Steam apps. I'm going to be doing it on my clean install in the Anim folder and then there is the ped.ifp file. When you open that, you'll notice there's now a list of animations here that you can scroll through and watch. So, for example, if I click Arrest Gun and then come down here and click this uh, Play button down here, I'll rotate the camera first, it will play and loop the animation endlessly until you stop playing it with the Pause button. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're only going to be editing one animation, and that will be uh, this Cower animation here. Something I should point out though, uh, if I can find an animation that does it, um, yeah, like this. Uh, some animations will hideously, hideously stretch your model. Again, this is nothing to worry about, this is just a bug that occurs within the animation manager. The animation in the game is actually completely fine. So don't worry if it does that. Just carry on as normal. So we're going to be changing the cower animation. And just adjust the camera here to spec root. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. That's the standard cower animation. We're going to be replacing it with one from uh, my animation pack, which will also be linked in the description. So we want to go to using this file tree down the side. We want to navigate to wherever we've saved the animation mod that we want to import specific animations from, in which case it's in my mods folder. So we'll click down here to Ralph's Animation Pack Revision 6, and then we want to find ped.ifp, and we want to right click and open with options. 
In the dialog window that opens, you want to make sure you don't click Open or Append. You want to click Replace, then you want to locate the animation in the list for the one that you want to swap. So we want to swap the Cower animation, so then we want to scroll down until we find Cower. We want to tick the box next to it, and then click OK. This is now reset our character to a standard I guess you'd call it a T-pose, but it's not really a T-pose, it's just the unposed standard animation there. So then we want to click any animation, absolutely anything. I'm going to click Climb, Stand, Finish, and then you want to click back onto Cower. You may notice the, now the animation has been swapped. You can do this for absolutely every animation in the pack. We're only going to be doing one for the purposes of the tutorial. But that is the entire process of swapping animations with the Animation Manager. To save your animation mod now, you want to go to IFP and then click Save. But because I don't want to overwrite my standard animations in my GTA San Andreas backup, I'm not going to actually bother saving it. Once you save it, uh, you can then... If the animation you edited isn't in the animation folder within the game files, then you will need to move it there first um, after editing it. You can then save it and then move it into the game folder, but then once you load up the game you will now have all of your new animations that you have imported using this method. So that's just about it for the tutorial. I did warn you it's ridiculously easy. Hopefully now you will all be able to do this for yourselves. So yeah. That's just about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please do leave a like and or a comment with your feedback. And until next time, uh, goodbye.